And now, on Alive 90.5, The Business Clinic, with Mark Buckingham. I'm joined by Andrew Hill from STARS. Uh, STARS is a very exciting initiative for helping kids uh, get involved with their community and at the same time growing their confidence and engaging local businesses with local schools. Hello, Andrew. How are you? Very well, Mark. Thanks for the invite. Ah, welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. So tell us a bit about STARS, because that's, um, you know, it's, it's all about community involvement. It is. Uh, it's, a, it's a matter of, it started out focusing on kids, getting them healthy and active, and then we found that uh, the parents and the teachers, we brought the kid out in everyone, right. even to the point where we've got a group of 70-year-olds called Keenagers. <laughs> so they're running around with us as well. I love it. A Keenager. Yeah. I remember that. I'm pretty keen now, and I'm yeah. 70. Yeah. Anyway. Um, so what what STARS all about? STARS is an acronym for School, Talent, Area, Region, State. Right. So it's a pathway of challenges for kids starting at school, finishing at Sydney Olympic Park. Cool. Yep. So what sort of things do, do, do you do? Now, there's Sports Star, who does a whole lot of sport. There's Singing Star, which we have, uh, if you think of the voice and all those things on TV, they're just challenges for kids so they can sing, dance, play sport, and each activity has a mascot, singing star, sports star, dancing star, who helps you get up there and have a go. Wonderful. And this is to, what, to build kids up? Yeah, to have a go of everything. Uh, some kids will actually develop into super champs or stars, and uh, but the main thing is for everyone to have a go. Wonderful. And where do you operate? We are based in Ryde, but the idea is growing. So we're in Sydney Olympic Park every holidays, and we do some free activities for the community, which is great. So we get mums and dads and grandparents joining us for a game of frisbee in the park or every sport. And then we have um, Parramatta, Ryde, Canada Bay, all the areas around Sydney Olympic Park are starting to be activated. Right. Activated. What do you mean activated? Uh turn up to a park like I just came in and saw this park outside which looks great and um, but it's just a park but once all the people get in then the fun starts then it's activated and there's a lot of energy good energy it's just just a field not being used unless there's people there that's it yeah yep and you get just people. a block <laughs> it's just a block yeah. so so get, getting uh, getting different groups into that area just yep. activates that and um, uses it uses it okay. which is exactly what council wants they want land of the commons they want all these spots used and um and not being detrimental to the area and councils are right behind what you do aren't they they're great yeah. we've got the mayors on board we've got um sport and rec uh, the council has been excellent in you know everywhere that we work and supporting what we're trying to do which is activate community right so this is all about community activation. It is. Uh, people are out talking to each other, playing with each other. It is. You can meet at a park. Yourself. You can meet in the shops. So we actually do Singing Star in the shops. Uh, we might do a sporting skill in the shops. We have had Ivan Lendl, who was number one in the tennis, come to Macquarie Centre right. and just interact with the people and have a go at tennis. It was brilliant. Did he smile? He did smile. Right. Not not terribly renowned for smiling when he was blind. When he's on the court, like I'm, I, as a tennis pro, I can say when he's on the court, he's working. But when he's out in public, he's uh, yeah a little bit more more fun based. Yeah. Right. So tell us a bit about the process of in, uh, of act, what you, activating the community. So. All right, um, the acronym school. So we actually go into schools for free right. in my local area and play at lunchtime and challenge them with a whole lot of sports skills. And the more skills a child has, the more active they'll become throughout life. Uh, from there, they then come to T stands for talent, so it can be singing, dancing, sport. There's a whole host of things there. There's a whole load of things that kids can do. There, there are. And wouldn't it be great? Get them off computers and get them doing the real thing. You can learn through computers, but you also need to get your, your heart rate up and run around and interact and things. Yep. all those things come together. Yep. Area is your local club your local shop or your local park and if we play this game called catch the stars beyond stars tv and if you can catch us you get you're a part of it and it's great so it's sort of like a the massive game of hide and seek and we say we're going to be at the local park which might not be as active next thing it's like a circus in town right and it's so it's active mm. right, right. color right. music 
Yeah. Everything that stimulates and So that, that, that community area is activated. It is. And anyone can come down. It's normally a lot of these things are for free uh, to get them out of the house and get them running around and and into interacting with others. They might find they like it. They do start to like it, and that's how we're getting the adults sort of sitting on the sideline going, I want to have part of this. So the next thing, mum and dad are playing with the Frisbee and doing all these great things. Yeah. Sometimes we get things like that. Well, you know, that's a shame. It's probably when you're, yeah, you're right. most happiest. Yeah, yeah. well, I, I, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, Stress-free zone. Yeah, well, yeah, uh, yeah this, this afternoon's uh, yeah. theme is about stress, and, yeah. and this is a, you know, getting active and getting out and, and playing with your kids or playing with your family. Yeah. Actually, it, it is about challenging, all right? So one of the, the biggest organisms in the world is the Great Barrier Reef, right? and the colour of the reef on the outer reef is the most beautiful colour in the world on the inside which is protected is white and dead right. so it's very important to keep challenges coming so it's a unique way of looking at it so where do we get to we've got uh, school town area region, region is the next one so if your region could be a council is probably just a nice area um and in that one, you might have kids come through their school, through their shopping centres, but it comes to a big festival, like in Ride is the Granny Smith Festival. Right. Over here, you've got... Everyone's got festivals. Yesterday, there was Hunters Hill, the Mookaboola. Right. And all the kids can come in and um, do a challenge, or they can high-five some of the star mascots, get a photo, um, do something special. Just um, It can sometimes change their day. They might not... Um, their friends might not be there, but then all of a sudden a high five gets a smile out of them and they're on their way. So Excellent. that's good. Um, so that sort of takes us to... STAR right. and then finally S for Sydney Olympic Park. Right. And they have been excellent. Uh, they, they give uh, an area in the holidays for the community. It's all free where parents can come down, drop their kids, and the kids just play on Cathy Freeman Park. Right. Uh, the Cauldron is down there where Cathy Freeman lit the cal- Cauldron at the 2000 Olympics. Wonderful site. It is an amazing site. It's got a great history. It's got um, a lot of prestige of being there. So, And that um, precinct, uh, they, they've done pretty well in keeping that precinct, uh, uh, I, I suppose, keeping it on the straight and narrow, unlike some other precincts that have, uh, that, that have been around the world. You know, they, they, they tend, to, tend to degrade a bit. But Sydney Olympic Park's really good, isn't it? It's probably one of the best in the world. I, I do a lot of analysis of... I love seeing how the Olympics, and we've just finished the Commonwealth Games, yep. can bring countries together through sport. And Sydney Olympic is nearly like a case study that all the others look at because right. after it finished, community activation was really high. The same thing happened in Manchester after their Commonwealth Games? They did. Yeah, look, uh, Manchester, is, um, that model was copied. And the one special thing about Sydney was the volunteer system. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that uh, they're still walking around with their shirts. I see them, yeah, you know, a couple of 14 years on, and you see this person, and they're proud as anything. It's, yeah, too right. Yep. I mean, that is just be something that will stay with you for the rest of your life. It is. It's, um, it's great. All right, well, we might take a little bit of a break, and we'll come back after some messages, and um, we'll talk a little bit more about um, stars.